The next module I want to talk about is the LM Web Runner, which was introduced in LM15. This module provides a full web interface for ALM that can be accessed from any browser and operating system. Let's start with the QA Engineer. The QA Engineer can log in to the Web Runner, see all the tests, navigate to the test set that you would like to run, and trigger it from here. On the left side, you can see the different steps, still in our one status. Now, let's report a bit here. Let's pass this one. And let's open a defect. So, we can open a defect and attach it to a step directly from this interface. Fill in here all the mandatory fields. and submit it. Still, one mandatory field is empty. Let's update it as well and submit. So you see there is an enforcement here of all the process and configurations. And let's stop the running of this test. I need to update here and stop the running. Okay, let's move to the defects view. Here I have some predefined filters and I can see all the defects that are assigned to me. I can see the latest defect which I opened. And let's switch users. Let's go off with the queue engineer and move to dev engineer. Developers can use the web runner to manage the full life cycle of a defect. Again, from any browser and operating system. So let's log in now as a developer and see the list of defects. I'm opening the defect, which was just open, and moving it from new to open status. Notice that some new mandatory fields became available now. Let me assign it to the right developer and save. And now I would like to move it to the next status. So from open to fixed, and another field just became mandatory. Once moving to this status, I'm filling here the comments and pressing OK. Now we can see that this defect status is updated into fixed. Of course, the same status will apply if I'm using the regular ALM client. So how it's done? The web runner cannot run the full ALM workflow, but we do have a different set of rules, which is quite easy to customize and control. Now I'm logged in as administrator. Let's move here to the entity setting tab and into the defect. You can see on the left side, I have several different templates, depending on the status of the defect. For each of them, I can select which fields will be shown. All these fields are coming from ALM, no need to redefine them. Just select the field, select if you want it to be visible, if you want it to be mandatory. You can assign even default uh, values to it if needed. And then navigate to the rules page. In the rules page, I'm using the form that I created earlier based on the condition. If the status is fixed and also when in the life cycle of the defect, it will be triggered and that's it. As you can see, very intuitive and easy to use. Now let's open a defect. Change the severity and add a summary here. And as a developer, now that I want to move it into another status, the field which I just defined will become available and mandatory as I specified in the configuration file. So all of my processes can still be enforced even when I'm using the web runner interface. Same goes for other statuses. Now, let's see some other admin options. Let's press here on the admin page. From this interface, I can decide if the web runner will be enabled or disabled per project or per site. And I can also control the defect editing capabilities, again, per project or per site.
In 15.5, we also added the ability to run test automation from this interface. Tests and get into a folder where I have some automation tests. I can run a single test, like in this case, and see the progress reflected in, the, in here. And the status just turned into past. I can also run all of the tests in this folder using a single click. In this case, all three tests are running in parallel. Let's give them time to finish the run. And all of them are updated to status passed. So I can use it to run also UFT, BPT tests that are stored in ALM. The next module that we added in 15.5 is the dashboard. Moving to a much more modern uh, reporting framework allowed us to display the dashboards in this interface, which means that all the ALM dashboards are accessible now from any browser. There's no need to download or install the client, which is quite useful for managers who only care about dashboards and doesn't need all the advanced capabilities within ALM. I can move it into a full screen position if I would like to put it on a monitor.